<clears throat> Hi guys, I'm John. In this video I'm going to show how to create a parabola in AutoCAD that uh, using a, a particular method that achieves a fairly accurate and precise parabola. There are other methods, uh, some I'm sure I don't even know about, um, you know, using Lisp. There may be some other native ways to do um, to create a parabola in AutoCAD, some of them not so precise or accurate. So the way I'm going to do this is go to Excel and create a set of coordinates um, that can be plotted in AutoCAD to draw the the parabola. So I'm not going to talk for a few minutes here. I'm just going to work. So this is going to be an example. So let's say we want a parabola that is um, um, 4 that goes from, hold on a second. Okay, so um, we want to create a parabola using discrete um, coordinate sets. And we want the X coordinate to be incremented by or decremented by let's say um, 0.1 so in Excel you would put 4 okay so and we want the endpoint on the right side of the parabola to be the coordinate 4 and 16 the X coordinate would be 4 and the Y would be 16 so this is how we do that so then you want to decrement it, you want to uh, the next number to be decremented by however much, let's say 3.9, so decremented by 0.1, then you take and you drag this down until you get to the negative of the value you started with. Oh, I went too far. So negative 4. That's, you know, quite a number of, uh, of x values. And then here, for our y value, we, we um, type the formula just a1 <coughs> um, exponent to the power of 2. So 4 squared, 16. Now for this, you can just double click on the autofill and then apply the values. Now what we want to do is <clears throat> create in a column um, a set of coordinates in a format that can be placed into AutoCAD. Okay, so the way we do that is um, type let's see, A1 ampersand quote comma ampersand and then b1 okay now drag this down <clears throat> okay see this um, that's because the significant digits these numbers over here are actually not just th um, well let's go down here so this number is not just one point negative one point five, it's negative one point five zero zero all the way to and then it gets to a one here. Um, but we have it formatted so the rest of this doesn't show over here. Well the, the way you solve the problem in the column in which you concatenated these numbers is you rewrite the formula. Let's back it up. Text <clears throat> A1, and then uh, let's see, and then the format that you want the number to be in, zero, let's say 0, 0.00, two significant digits, and then close parentheses, and then ampersand, quote, comma, quote, and um, then ampersand, text, B1 then in quotes 0.00 and in close 
Okay, so now we just uh, double click on the autofill, and you notice that it's given us the sort of format that we want. Now you right click on this, copy, go to AutoCAD, select Polyline, right click in the command window, paste, and if you notice it just drew the parabola for us. We can zoom in. You see those uh, kind of uh, sort of glitches in it. That's because there's so many like vertices in here that it's 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 glitching a little bit. Um, so this is a not the final way that you want your parabola to be. There's something you can do if you zoom in. You can see these are straight lines. They're pretty visible. You can make this smoother by typing. P edit and then selecting the polyline. That's P edit stands for polyline edit. And then choosing fit. And if you zoom in now, you see that it's much smoother. The vertices are still there, but it's it's been um, you know these lines have been smoothed out on their edges. Now this is a very accurate polyline, considering that we achieved it in AutoCAD. That is a polyline. It's a very accurate uh, parabola. And it, it's a, a y equals x squared parabola. So that's how you do this. There's other things I could do with this. I could demonstrate to you that this is in fact accurate by you know, drawing a line from here to here and then up to where the curve is and then measuring them and then calculating using a calculator. Um, you know, the calculator is going to be accurate so you can check the values that you got here against what the calculator would yield and to see that it is indeed an accurate parabola well, far more accurate than some of the other native methods I've seen so um, uh, that's all for this video um, thank you I'm John